All right, class, let's talk about music genres, the labels we slap on our favorite tracks to help us navigate the endless ocean of sounds. Think of genres as the seasoning in your favorite dish. Each one brings its own flavor, vibe, and spice to the mix. And trust me, understanding these genres is key if you want to cook up something that'll make people come back for seconds. One notch. Turn it up. One notch. One notch. overview of popular music genres. Let's kick things off with a genre that's not just a sound, but a lifestyle. Hip-hop isn't just a genre, it's the heartbeat of a culture. Born in the Bronx during the 1970s, hip-hop started as a voice for the streets, a way to speak truth to power with a beat that makes your head nod. It's a mashup of rapping, DJing, breakdancing, and graffiti, all rolled into one. And let's not forget the fashion, because you can't talk hip-hop without mentioning the threads. Hip-hop's beats can be simple loops or intricate soundscapes pulling from jazz, funk, soul, and even electronic music. Over the years, it's grown into a global phenomenon, spawning sub-genres like trap with its heavy bass and hi-hats, boom bap, bringing that old-school flavor, and gangsta rap where the stories get real gritty. We'll dive into these in a bit, but for now, just know that hip-hop is a genre that keeps reinventing itself. Pop music, short for popular music, is like that friend who gets along with everyone. It's catchy, it's relatable, and it's all about the hooks. If you've ever had a song stuck in your head, you've experienced the power of pop. It's designed to be easy on the ears, and even easier to remember. Pop music pulls from everywhere. Rock, R&B, dance, you name it. It's polished, radio friendly, and focused on vocals that can belt out those irresistible choruses. Artists like Michael Jackson, the King of Pop, and modern icons like Beyonce have shaped this genre, making sure it stays at the top of the charts. Pop is the crowd pleaser, the one that knows how to throw a party everyone wants to attend. So rock music is the rebellious teenager of the music world, born in the 1950s and never really growing up. It's all about electric guitars, pounding drums, and lyrics that make you want to start a revolution, or at least question authority. Rock as a genre is given birth to countless subgenres. Classic rock with bands like The Beatles and Led Zeppelin is your go-to for guitar solos and timeless anthems. Punk rock, on the other hand, is raw and in your face, perfect for those days when you feel like sticking it to the man. And then there's alternative rock, which took the 90s by storm with bands like Nirvana, mixing things up with grunge and experimental sounds. R&B are rhythm and blues, and soul are the smooth operators of the music world. Rooted in the African-American experience, these genres bring the feels with bluesy melodies, heartfelt vocals, and rhythms that make you sway. R&B has evolved over the years, blending with funk, pop, and hip-hop, while soul digs deep into emotion, bringing gospel-inspired vocals to the mainstream. Legends like Aretha Franklin and Marvin Gaye made sure these genres aren't just about the music, but about the message delivering songs that touch the soul and move the body. EDM is the life of the party, literally. This genre is designed for the dance floor with beats that make your feet move before you even realize it. Whether it's a club or a massive festival, EDM is where the beats drop and the energy never fades. EDM is an umbrella term covering subgenres like house with its four on the floor beat, Techno's futuristic vibes, Trance's emotional roller coasters, and Dubstep's wobbly bass that hits like a gut punch. This genre has roots in disco and house, but has evolved into a global phenomenon that's all about the beat and the buildup. Country music is like your favorite pair of worn out jeans, comfortable, familiar, and telling stories of life's ups and downs. Originating in the southern United States, country music blends folk, blues, and gospel, often focusing on themes of love, heartbreak, and life 
in small town America. Country music has come a long way from the honky tonk days to modern country pop, but at its core, it's all about storytelling. Icons like Johnny Cash and Dolly Parton have shaped the genre, proving that a good story told right never goes out of style. Jazz is the free spirit of music genres. Born in New Orleans, jazz is all about improvisation, complex rhythms, and going with the flow. It's a genre that challenges musicians to express themselves and keeps listeners on their toes. Jazz has spun off into countless subgenres. Swing with its danceable rhythms, bebop, which takes the speed and complexity up a notch, cool jazz, where things chill out a bit, and fusion, where jazz meets rock and funk for something entirely new. Jazz is the genre for those who appreciate the craft of music making, where every note has a purpose and every performance is unique. Reggae is the laid-back philosopher of music, hailing from Jamaica with a rhythm that feels like a warm breeze. With its offbeat grooves and bass lines that hit deep, reggae is all about peace, love, and resistance. Reggae is closely tied to the Rastafarian movement, and artists like Bob Marley brought it to the world stage, spreading messages of unity and freedom. This genre has influenced many others, spawning offshoots like dance hall and dub, each adding their own twist to the reggae sound. Yeah, understanding music genres is like having a map to the musical universe. Each genre brings its own unique vibe, cultural significance, and loyal audience. Whether you're dropping bars as a rapper, laying down tracks as a producer, or crafting lyrics as a songwriter, knowing your genres helps you find your niche and connect with listeners. So dive in, explore, and let these genres inspire you to create something that moves the world. All right, let's dig into what makes hip hop tick. And I'm not just talking about the beats that make your head nod. Hip hop is like a big family reunion with everyone bringing their own flavor to the party. We're going to break down the core characteristics of hip hop and then take a tour through some of its most influential subgenres like trap, boom bap, and gangster rap. So get ready because this ride through hip hop history is about to get real. Hip hop is more than just music. It's a full blown cultural movement. But if we had to break it down to its core elements, here's what you'd find rapping, MCing, the art of spitting bars. Rapping is all about rhythmically delivering lyrics with style and precision. It's the voice of hip hop, where MCs tell their stories, drop knowledge, and flex their lyrical skills. DJing, turntablism. Before streaming and playlists, there were DJs, real ones. DJing involves using turntables to mix, scratch, and create beats that set the stage for MCs. Back in the day, the DJ was the backbone of the party, controlling the crowd with the flick of a wrist, beat making. Beats are the lifeblood of hip hop. Whether it's a simple loop or a complex production, the beat sets the mood and gives rappers the canvas to paint their lyrical masterpieces. Beat makers use everything from drum machines to digital audio workstations, DAOs, to craft those head bobbing rhythms, sampling. Sampling is the art of taking a slice of an old track and flipping it into something fresh. It's like paying homage to the past while creating the future. Sampling has been a cornerstone of hip hop since day one with producers chopping up everything from jazz to funk to give their tracks that signature vibe. Lyricism. Hip-hop lyrics aren't just words, they're weapons, tools, and trophies. MCs use lyrics to express themselves, tackle social issues, and showcase their verbal acrobatics. Whether it's storytelling, wordplay, or straight-up braggadocio, lyricism is where hip-hop artists prove their worth, cultural elements. Hip-hop isn't just about the music. It's a way of life. From graffiti art to breakdancing and street fashion, hip hop culture has influenced the world far beyond the beats and rhymes. It's a movement that's always evolving, but never forgetting where it came from. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into some of the subgenres that have made hip hop the global force it is today. Trap. If hip hop were a city, 
Trap would be the rough neighborhood where everyone's hustling to survive. Originating in the South, particularly Atlanta, Trap has become one of the most dominant sounds in modern hip hop. The beats are hard hitting and hypnotic, with booming 808s, rapid hi-hats, and snare rolls that sound like gunfire. The tempo is usually slow to mid-paced, creating a moody, cinematic atmosphere that pulls you in and doesn't let go. Trap lyrics don't sugarcoat anything. They're gritty, often focusing on the harsh realities of street life, drug dealing, crime, and the struggle to rise above poverty. The term trap itself refers to the places where drugs are sold, reflecting the environment that birthed the genre. Trap rappers often blur the line between rapping and singing, using auto-tune to create a melodic, almost haunting vocal style. This gives trap its distinctive sound, gritty yet smooth, tough yet tuneful. You can't talk trap without mentioning T.I., who's often credited with coining the term, or Gucci Mane, Future, and Migos, who've all put their stamp on the genre. Producers like Metro Boomin and Zaytoven have crafted the sound that's become synonymous with trap. Boom Bap is the old school cousin who's all about keeping it real. Hailing from New York City, this subgenre is considered by many to be the golden age of hip hop. The name says it all. Boom Bap is all about those hard hitting kicks, boom, and Chris snares. Bap. The beats are often sample based, pulling from classic jazz, funk, and soul records. It's gritty, raw, and designed to make your neck snap. If you're an MC in the Boom Bap scene, you better come correct. This subgenre is all about lyricism with a focus on complex rhyme schemes, wordplay, and storytelling. Whether it's social commentary or bragging rights, boom bap rappers deliver their messages with precision and skill. Producers like DJ Premier, Pete Rock, and Jay Dilla are legends in the boom bap world. They're known for their use of chop samples, dusty loops, and lo-fi aesthetics that give the genre its signature sound. When you think boom bap, think Nas, Wu-Tang Clan, a tribe called Quest, and the notorious B.I.G. These artists define the East Coast sound of the 90s, creating classics that still resonate today. Gangsta rap is the rebel of the hip-hop family, pulling no punches and telling it like it is. Born on the West Coast, this subgenre gave a voice to the voiceless, bringing the realities of street life to the forefront. Gangsta rap lyrics are raw, unfiltered, and often controversial. They address the violence, poverty, and systemic injustice faced by many in urban America. This genre isn't just entertainment, it's a reflection of the struggles that were often ignored by the mainstream. The beat in gangsta rap are as tough as the lyrics, often featuring deep bass lines, funk samples, and menacing synths. The production creates a vibe that's both infectious and intense, matching the hard-hitting nature of the lyrics. Gangsta rap shook up the music industry sparking debates about its impact on society. Critics accused it of glorifying violence, but its defenders saw it as a form of social commentary, a way to shed light on the harsh realities of life in the inner city. NWA, with members like Ice Cube and Dr. Dre, were pioneers of gangster rap, while artists like Tupac Shakur and Snoop Dogg took it to new heights. These artists didn't just make music, they made history pushing the boundaries of what hip-hop could be. Hip-hop is a genre with endless layers, and its subgenres are like the different streets and neighborhoods that make up the city. Whether it's the dark, bass-heavy world of trap, the gritty, lyric-driven sounds of boom-bap, or the raw, unfiltered reality of gangster rap, each subgenre brings something unique to the table. Understanding these subgenres is key to navigating the hip-hop landscape, whether you're making the music or just vibing to it. Hip-hop's diversity is its strength, and knowing the characteristics of each subgenre helps you appreciate the full spectrum of this powerful genre. Alright, let's get into one of the most crucial keys to making it in the music industry, finding your niche and connecting with your audience. Think of it like this, if the music industry were a massive buffet, your niche is that one dish you've perfected, and your audience is the hungry crowd that keeps coming back for seconds. In today's crowded market, standing out isn't just about being good, it's about being unforgettable to the right people.
defining your niche. Your niche is where your music, your message, and your vibe all come together. It's your corner of the music world, the spot where you shine the brightest. But finding it isn't just about picking a genre, it's about digging deep into what makes you, you. Authenticity. Your niche has to be real. It's gotta reflect who you are as an artist. Listeners can spot a fake from a mile away, so don't try to be something you're not. Whether you're rapping about life on the streets, singing about love, or dropping beats that make people move, make sure it's coming from the heart. Authenticity isn't just a buzzword, it's the foundation of a loyal fan base. Specialization, in a world full of noise, trying to appeal to everyone is like throwing darts in the dark. Instead, focus on mastering your craft within a specific style or genre. Maybe you're all about that boom bap sound, or you've got a knack for blending trap with soul. Whatever it is, own it. Specialization helps you create a signature sound. Something that when people hear it, they know it's you. Creative vision. Your niche isn't just about the notes you play. It's about the whole package. Your image, your branding, your story. Consistency in your creative vision is what makes your niche strong. When your music, visuals, and messaging all align, it's easier for your audience to connect with and remember you. In understanding your audience, once you've got your niche on lock, it's time to find your people, the ones who vibe with what you're putting out. Your audience is more than just a bunch of listeners. They're the community that's going to support you, spread the word, and keep your career alive. Demographics. Start with the basics. Who are the people most likely to dig your music? Age, gender, location, cultural background. These are the building blocks of understanding your audience. If your music speaks to the youth, You'll want to be all over the social media platforms they're on. If you're connecting with an older crowd, maybe it's time to bring back that classic vibe with a modern twist. Psychographics. Now let's go deeper. What are your audience's interests, values, and lifestyles? Are they the type who live for the weekend club scene, or are they more about introspective late night listening sessions? Understanding what makes your audience tick helps you create music and content that resonates on a personal level. Engagement. Building a fan base isn't just about dropping tracks. It's about building relationships. Engage with your audience through social media, live shows, and anywhere else they hang out. Respond to their comments. Host live sessions. Give them a peek behind the curtain. The more you engage, the more they'll feel like they're part of your journey. Feedback. Your audience isn't just there to listen. They're also a valuable source of feedback. Listen to what they're saying. Take note of what they love and pay attention to what they don't. This feedback isn't about pandering. It's about staying in tune with your audience while still pushing your creative boundaries. The benefits of finding your niche and audience. So, what's in it for you? Why go through all this effort to find your niche and audience? Here's why. Focus marketing. Knowing your niche and audience means you can target your marketing where it counts. No more throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Instead, you're hitting the bullseye every time with content and strategies that resonate with your core fans. Loyal fan base. A well-defined niche attracts fans who are in it for the long haul. These are the people who will buy your merch, show up at your concerts, and tell their friends about you. They're not just casual listeners. They're your ride or die supporters. Creative freedom. When you know what works for your audience, you're free to experiment and grow within that space. It's like having a safety net. You can push boundaries without losing touch with the people who matter most. Sustainable career. Chasing trends might give you a quick boost, but finding your niche and audience is how you build a lasting career. It's about creating a connection that stands the test of time rather than a hit that fades as quickly as it came. In the music industry, finding your niche and audience isn't just a step in the process, it's the foundation of your career. By focusing on what makes you unique and connecting with the people who resonate with your music, you set yourself up for long-term success. It's a crowded market, 
out there, but with a strong niche and a dedicated audience. You're not just another artist. You're the artist they can't get enough of. So find your spot, own it, and let your music do the rest.